Welcome to livingpianos.com. Robert Estrin here. Did you hear that high C on this piano? This is a glorious piano from the golden area of Baldwin. When Baldwin's in the top of their game, they were the ones who were on concert stages all around the world. I remember growing up, going to New York recitals in Lincoln Center, Carnegie Hall. On stage, you'd always look to see, is it a Baldwin, is it a Steinway? It was the heyday of Baldwin. This piano was manufactured in 1979 when Baldwin was really making great pianos. The refinement of the work was, was exquisite and the SF-10 seven-foot piano that first came out in the early 70s and my father, Mort Nestrin, bought one of the very first ones that was produced, which is my personal piano today and I treasure it. And what's great about the scale design of this piano is the evenness from the top to the bottom, the thunderous bass, and the clear as a bell treble that usually you only experience on the great European pianos like Beckstein, Musendorfer, Fazioli, but this piano has that singing clear treble. I want to play a number of selections for you. This piano is all original and in absolutely exquisite condition. There's virtually no wear on the hammers. So everything is stable yet fresh. It's such an unusual combination to find a piano like this. Let's listen to a little bit of Beethoven. This is a slow movement. The beginning of his opus 10 number uh, one sonata in C minor. The second movement's in A flat major. It's a gorgeous movement. Listen to a little bit of this and the singing warm tone you get out of this Baldwin.
I'm gonna stop there. Although I'd love to play the whole movement for you, but I've got another student in just a minute, and I took this opportunity to play this beautiful SF10 for you. So let's listen to it open up with the chords from the Tchaikovsky B flat minor piano concerto, so you can hear the whole range of this magnificent instrument. What a sound. And now for some subtlety. Listen to the Chopin movement composed by Schumann in his Carnival. So many levels of expression with the Renner action. And because it's a semi-concert grand, you get the full-length keys. Behind the fallboard, it's longer, so you're not so close to that center point. So you get more control over the action because when you're close to the fallboard, playing black keys and between black keys, there's some motion there. You're not moving a tiny amount of, of key there. Well. I'm going to close with something I love to play as a little demonstration of pianos because it covers so much in such a little amount of time. And that's a little excerpt from the Chopin first ballade in G minor, just this little glorious theme with a, starts with a flourish of arpeggios, and then it goes into the subtle, beautiful melody for you. You know, the reason my father got an SF-10 was because a semi grand is the perfect piano, the ideal piano for your home. Unless you live in a monstrously large home that can take the volume of a nine-foot piano, this is the best piano you can have in your home. The great tone, the superb feel, and to get one in magnificent condition like this is just pretty unbelievable. As time goes on, there'll be fewer 
and fewer of these available. It's a pleasure to have a piano that you don't have to spend years trying to get them dialed in and stabilized. This piano is well cared for, and whoever gets this piano is going to be rewarded with one of the world's great semi-concert grands. Again, I'm Robert Estrin. This is livingpianos.com, your online piano resource. Thanks so much for joining me.